So y'all, I'm into chapter one of Black Women Will Save the World, an anthem by April Ryan. A reminder, you can go to colorfulstory.com underneath additional resources and books. In my Amazon storefront, underneath history, culture, and politics, you'll find the book. But let's dive into chapter one, the superpower of sisterhood. So y'all, I'm in my feelings because when I'm reading this, a lot of it has to do with the impact of Black women and voting rights. But I feel like we can channel that same energy in other areas of our lives. So April talks about being a Black woman in a room. Uh, and most of the times, if we are in higher up positions, we are typically the only Black women in a room. And we have access to this table. But it's what we do with that access when we have access to that table. So she talks about asking the questions, challenging the answers, um, elevating the issues that pertain to the community that we represent. Because having a seat at the table is not always guaranteed, but also having a seat at the table makes you the target. And she talks about facing being the target of people like Bill O'Reilly, uh, Donald Trump, um, Sean Spicer, and how her as the um, journalist that represented Black voices in the White House was very tumultuous to her. But she knew that she had to stand in the gap for not only Black women, but Black people in general because nobody was asking questions as it pertains to Black people. And as a Black woman, she took so many hits to the point that they created a hashtag called Black Women at Work. I remember that. She then goes on to talk about how black women have stood in the gap and we have sacrificed our bodies while we're standing in the gap. So she talks about when Congresswoman Beatty and nine other congressional leaders were arrested for protesting for voting rights in 2021 and how even in jail, these women found ways to figure out what was next for our community, which is why I love this quote from Lori Lightfoot that was in the book. You've got to be very clear about who you are, what your values are, and you've got to forge ahead. Because many times our voices are often ignored, but then we are found to be right later on. And people should have listened to us from the very beginning. This chapter really speaks about the idea of sisterhood and how it is important for us whenever we start these movements for Black women and for the Black community. April Ryan says, sisterhood is essential to the salvation of black women because the experience of being a black woman is uniquely challenging. And I felt that in my spirit because there is no leader like black women, which is why black women are always looked to to be the saviors of so many movements. Can't wait for chapter two.